because I mean we're we are flying by. We are just motorboating the son of a bitch. <laughs> we got we got a puzzle. I, I showed off a little bit at the end. I, I'm sorry. I like to have a little humor when you're doing this because it's such a it's such a dreary uh, subject mm-hmm. matter, you know. All right. So, Lara, you're you're kind of go. Actually, do you mind if I call you Lara? Like, does doesn't matter. I don't care. Okay. Sorry, it's like either it's either that or we're, we're not saying where I work. So no, no. I just I, I like I don't care if people call me by my name, but at the same time, I just want to make sure that that's not an issue. No, it's not. An issue. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, welcome back, viewers, to another Silent Hill part. In the last episode, you were kind of going on a tirade about like um, like a lot of uh, your perspective and thoughts on the situation at hand, and I just suddenly like got to this room, which is kind of a solution to a puzzle. Uh, and also keys into my tarry quite a bit. Notice yeah. how they are all female figures, all without a face. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it also, I feel like it's also very relatable to uh, James's uh, uh, ideal, like, reason for being in Silent Hill, you know? A yeah. lot of the enemies are very sexualized. They are. But it also kind of shows how, again, it keys back into his selfishness, I think, in which he doesn't really see the women as actual people. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, really, yeah. when you get down to it... Like, a lot of the enemies don't really have a viable face. Yeah. And, and that that kind of robs them of their personhood. Any personhood that they may have. Their identity. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can see that. Uh, the only person that really, like, has shown is, like, Angela or Maria. And Mary to an extent, but we haven't even seen her, so. Or, no. I guess, nah, not really Laura. I mean, she's there, but, you know. Uh, Anyways, we got a poem. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in a frying pan. Served him to his hungry guests and gave them seconds on request. Oh, that was pretty brutal. The next one, with his smile and sweet, stole poor children off the, su- off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory... He told that he sold them into slavery. That's also pretty brutal. Breaking into a home, uh, breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright. Filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. Oh, well, that's not as brutal. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hands at painting bills. He, but caught in rain, he wasn't done. When the ink he did he used did start to run. Yeah, that's that's harsh, but not as brutal. No, with promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up, out of sight, quietly slipped off into night. So he got away. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like it. Yeah. Three houses into ash burned, the sheriff with no place to turn did spy a stranger to his town. Locked him up and beat him down. That's brutal. Dead men, dead men swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide. Round their necks the noose be tied. That's not actually the puzzle. That's just kind of adding to the puzzle. The real puzzle here is actually this slab. You see, that that's not it. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. They're, they're right next to each other, so it's like... It trying to, hard. Yeah, it's just like... There we go. I'm trying to... Only the Listen sinless one, one can help you Thank here. You. Mistakenly pull on the criminal's rope, and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. So, if you can't guess, we're trying to find the innocent one. So we got a murderer, a swindler, a counterfeiter, an arsonist, a bur... I th- think I said thief. I don't know. Basically, there's six guys, and the last one's a kidnapper. Um, so yeah, who's the innocent one? They all sound guilty of something to me. Yeah. I, I know the solution, but I'm trying to... You want to take a wild stab? No, I'm good. Tell me what the solution is. Are, are you, sh- are you yeah, sure? I, in, order, in order to guess, I would need to read the poem again, and I don't necessarily want to go through. Oh, I was just saying you want to take a wild stab. Uh, no, it's all right. Okay. It's the arsonist. The arsonist. And here's why. Uh, if you read the thing carefully, it says the cop found a stranger in his town. Oh... And then he grabbed him and beat him down. Right. But it's not actually signifying the arsonist. I, I have to admit, I got stumped, but then if you read it carefully, you're, you feel like an idiot and you're like, holy shit. 
You're right. It is it is the guy, because that guy was falsely blamed for something he didn't do. He was just a, some random guy who just wandered into town at the wrong gotcha. time. Gotcha. Yeah. But everyone else, they, they committed a crime. At least in that poem they did. What happens if you pick the wrong one, do you know? Nope. Well, I, I we assume... Don't wanna, we don't want to follow it find out. I assume random, uh... Enemy? Yeah, random yeah. enemy. That seems the most likely in my case. Probably like a lying figure or something. I don't know. I don't really want to find I out. I mean, I can. <laughs> you could, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, so here's the whole reason we did that. So it could unlock the key, or the cuffs. You know, because we got the keys of the persecuted. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah. See that that's how it all ties in. That's that's uh that's it in a nutshell. And it's interesting that we see that right after Angela, considering that we considered her wrath. And yeah. the key point of the innocent one was that he was mistakenly beaten down. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so you wanna know what's gonna happen next? What? Do you care to know what happens next? I don't care one way or another. Okay, well that's locked. We can't go that way. But I am signifying that it's locked, just just so you understand that this is uh, how it gets unlocked. Also, there is something I do have to comment on, but not yet. Maria? Oh, what happened to Maria? Yeah. What what happened to Maria? Maria? I find it interesting that her face is hidden. Yeah. In the camera angle. Yeah, but that's but that's on purpose. Yeah, for now. Don't worry. I mean, like, if you're like, what happened to Maria? Oh, don't worry. No, I just think it's another thing that shows that oh, yeah. she's just an object to him at this point. I mean, as we said before, I mean, we... I, I said it, and you kind of agreed, but, like, his motivation was that, you know, sex. Yeah. And, and now it, it's been taken away from him. I mean, she she got brutalized, let's yeah. be honest here. That, that's, that's, that's... That looks painful. Like, yeah. her expression looks like... She's in pain, or she was in pain, and and James is like sad. Well, I don't even know how, what James is feeling at this point. I know, like James is one of the most enigmatic characters I think I've ever seen. Because I mean, it's really he's hard to tell what he's thinking. Yeah, because I mean, he's talking about Marie or er, Mary. Mary. Maria is the girl that he's trying to bang, or was. Mary is his dead wife. Right. So is he? Is he like Mary? I have to find her. Is this, is this like a calling to him that he has to be like, yo, my wife. Also, uh, this music. Um, I don't know if anyone likes it. I think it's completely whack. Is whack good or bad? Like, not, not good. Just like, what the fuck game. Like, it almost sounds kind of parody, parody of, parody-ish of what's like being portrayed. Cause she died again, right? But right. I mean, this time it was like really short lived. So it's kind of like, uh... It happened off-screen, which is unusual. Yeah. But I think that was also intentional. Oh, I know. We're in a graveyard. Okay, yeah. I know what's coming up. Yeah. Um, I do have to say something about the graves. Uh, you can check them. Most of them are kind of illegible. Uh, also, there are random bits of items just scattered about, so that's, that's partially what I'm doing. Uh, but the other thing I'm looking for, this one in particular, I think it's this one. No, it's not this one, but I don't know who that is. Miriam K. Traitor. Traitor. Well, I mean, we know we know what she did, supposedly, according to someone. This one is Walter the one Sullivan. I was fighting. Yeah, uh, we know who that is. Yeah, but I find it interesting. The, the Miriam K. Traitor. Eddie. Eddie Dombrowski. 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 That's Eddie. And then, you know... Angela. Angela. Oh, Orozco. There we yeah, go. That's what, yeah, Orozco. If I if I mispronounce that, if I mispronounce that, I apologize. No, I just uh, was wondering where you were getting that name from. No, now, it, I because her last name is Orozco. Yeah, but I didn't know that. Uh, I don't well, think she I mean, that yeah, earlier. So I no. was wondering how you found that out. Well, you get through the game and yeah, James Thunder. Oh, that's us. Did you want to save? First, there was a tombstone with a save point. Yeah, I guess I could save. I think I already did, but you know what? Might as well be safe, right? It's right here. Oh no, I did not save. 
I would have had to repeat that bullshit again exactly. had I died. Exactly. Oh, man. See, this is why I like you being my fact checker. Because you check the facts that I did not <laughs> save. Anyways, so I think unanimously this is the part that everyone hates about Eddie. Or Eddie. I said that really weird. I apologize. I think this is the part that everyone hates about Eddie. But, but I do want to say, I think he has one really good part. And it's... It, it's gonna come up. It's gonna come up before I think everyone hates him, like the reasons they hate him. And I, uh, I want I want you to know, I'm right there with you. Eddie has something really unredeemable for for my own reasons, and I think everyone is kind of on board. But it's a good line. Eddie, what are you doing? What does it look like? You always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass. You're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart. Dumb. Ugly. Pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And a corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie. You gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Oh. Hey. I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Oh, no. Lara, he's come down with a case of the rabies. I'm sorry, but I think we have to put him down. I find it interesting that... Um, he gave us our most important piece of information, and it's like, all you gotta do is, you know, aim for the head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I find it interesting that uh, Eddie's, Eddie's monsters if we can take these dead bodies to be indication, are all pretty masculine figures. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I, I would say Eddie, like, his thing is he was made fun of for being fat. He yeah. got fat shamed, and really, that that's what I have to say about Eddie. It's That's really his character development and why, why he went sci psycho, essentially. Yeah. You know, because he likes to eat. He, and people, yeah, people bullied him until he just couldn't take it anymore. Unfortunately, with the good comes the bad. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look. After you've been laughed at your whole freaking life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts out. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get all holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party. Oh, he wants to party. I don't know. I'm sorry, boy. I have to put him down. 
Lara, I'm sorry. I think I think. Why are you apologizing to me? Because kill him, kill him now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think he's come down with the rabies. There's no saving him. I I know you don't think it really matters, but to me, it would be interesting to know, based on his character, if it was his father, a bully at school. I feel so like it was that. some sort of jock dude that uh did did the thing where you know. Oh, he's reloading. I want to get to the thing so I don't die. See, I apologize in, in more of the ironic twist where it's like, I know you hate him, but at the same time, I'm treating it I'm treating it like an old yeller situation, if you know what I mean. Where he's, he, he's, he's been a bad kid. He, Jesus Christ. Also, I, I'm, I'm glad I managed to uh, not die. He's taking a beating. There we go. <laughs> but he says something very interesting. You notice that he's like... He, that he shouldn't get holy on Eddie for it. He's in here for the same reasons. Mm -hmm. And this is, again, going to why I'm talking about they have something relatable. See, in a sense, they were all victims to an unfortunate cause. To, to something, be it fate, unfortunate circumstance, what have you. But at the same time, it's the same reason that caused them to murder someone. Yeah. And it's affected them thusly. Yeah, since we've seen... So I can I can see how they all killed someone. They all suffered in some way. Mm-hmm. And that's why I had to play the devil's advocate, because there's more to Eddie than really lets on. That said, I'm with you. He's a dirty fucking dog killer. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck him. I mean, like, it's not only that, it's just the amount of needless detail he goes into about it. And how about much it. joy he derived from Yeah. It. I mean, like, granted, it's vastly different than, say, uh, like, Angela or James. And yeah. I guess that's also trying to be more of a character specification on to how it affected him. Or at least that's what I would... But I, I think it's worth noting that he's the only one that attacked something lower than him. Yep. The man attacked something that's human. Yeah. Anyways, with that, Dre, now, I'm gonna end it up here at the shipping dock, because uh, I don't really know what else to say other than shit. Fuck Eddie. <laughs>